This is CBS News Bay Area with Juliet Goodrich. Good evening. We're talking legalized jaywalking. Several communities across the Bay Area saw an increase in the number of pedestrians killed on the street last year. San Francisco and Oakland both saw upticks, but it was especially noticeable in the South Bay. 32 pedestrians died in San Jose in 2022, and that's a record. 2023 is off to a promising start, though, with no pedestrian deaths in January. However, just east of the city limits on Alum Rock Avenue near Kirk, a 46 year old man was found dead early this morning, the victim of a hit and run. The CHP is now searching for that driver. And this comes a month after a new state law took effect, giving people the right to jaywalk. The Freedom to Walk Act. It bars police from citing pedestrians for crossing outside of an intersection unless they are in immediate danger of being hit. Or Max Darrow asked police and pedestrians what they think about that. So under the letter of the new law, there are certain scenarios where pedestrians can jaywalk without any legal repercussions. But it doesn't mean that pedestrians have the right to just wander out into oncoming traffic, assuming they have the right of way. Here in San Jose, the police department says that will still get you a jaywalking citation. That buoy waits for the walk sign to flash at Monterey and Kurtner in San Jose. It's a long wait, but he wouldn't consider crossing otherwise. I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. But with a new law in place, the so-called Freedom to Walk Act, he could legally cross the street here or even outside of the intersection, so long as he wasn't in immediate danger of getting hit by oncoming traffic. Man, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's bad. This is just um, having a law mirror what is common sense behavior. Uh, no pedestrian crossed the street hoping to get hit by a vehicle. Assembly member Phil Ting authored the bill. So this just merely codifies that if you are crossing the street safely and you're in the middle of the street, that you can't get a citation. The California assemblyman says jaywalking enforcement has often been uneven, and this law should temper that. Uh, oftentimes the citations are written in uh, areas where it's lower income, uh, areas where there actually is less pedestrian infrastructure, and by that I mean fewer crosswalks. But in San Jose, a city that saw a 25-year high in traffic fatalities last year, police officer Steve Aponte is wary of the change. It's troubling to think that perhaps people will become emboldened to think that they can cross, that the pedestrian always has the right of way, when in fact that's not true. 32 pedestrians died on San Jose roads last year. Two-thirds of those pedestrians were not in a marked crosswalk when the collision occurred. He says the police department will focus on education now that people can cross where they want to cross. What we want to do is make sure that folks are aware and paying attention and using common sense when they're crossing the roadways. But they aren't entirely abandoning enforcement, and the law outlines a key scenario where jaywalking is still against the law. If they are creating a hazard for themselves or other people on the roadway, they will be stopped and they will be cited. Ting hopes the new rules of the road will cause pedestrians and drivers to exercise more caution while on the road. Yeah, what we told drivers is the, the way you make streets less dangerous is to drive more slowly. As for Bowie... Oh, yeah, I think I'll get used to it. It might take some time. But it's unlikely you'll see him doing so at the busiest intersections, like this one in San Jose. You know, just this week, California secured nearly $133 million in federal funding for roadway safety improvements across the state. Three of the biggest projects are right here in the Bay Area. San Francisco received $17.6 million to upgrade traffic and pedestrian signals in the Western Edition. And across the Bay in Alameda County, $15 million is going to a four mile stretch of the San Pablo Avenue corridor from the southern end of El Cerrito down to West Oakland. Everything from moving bus stops to adding more bike lanes. And the largest grant in the entire state is going to Contra Costa County. It will get nearly $29 million to close a gap on the San Francisco Bay Trail in Martinez and make pedestrian and bicycle path improvements in Richmond, Antioch, and Moraga.